and we're back to part two welcome or welcome back if this is your first video with exposed um we've done half of this i've ingested some caffeine to try and keep myself awake <laughs> and we'll do the second half if you didn't watch the first half she's been getting slowly and slowly more pissed as the time's gone along drunk you say pissed is angry in america isn't it more and more intoxicated and the more intoxicated she gets the bigger and bigger the hat gets but um we're back let's dive in why she not say anything i'm telling my baby and then you're gonna get old like Bella and then you're gonna die and I'm gonna have to replace you and nobody will be able to no boo boo's gonna get older and then you're gonna kill her like you killed Bella but you probably won't replace her because you've got doofus no other dog is gonna let me move them around the way you do no other dog is going to love me like you do. Like, you are my baby that I didn't birth. You're my baby goo. I know, but she's going to die soon. No, Bella's old. Bella is, was born. God, you people are very, very mean. June of 2007. So Bella is 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. God, 13, how old 14, are you? 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 13. She'll be 13 in June. She's 91. And she is every bit 91. <laughs> Good bomb, bomb. <laughs> um. She can't see. She has dementia. She can't. Okay, just like that dog, Pluto, that is an internet craze. Like, you don't need to take your dog to the vet when it's blind and deaf and has dementia. Bella wags her tail. She's eating fine. She's drinking fine. She still weighs the same amount. I, I take her to the vet. No, you don't. Don't fucking lie. Take her to the vet. She is. She's called Rat Dog. Pom Pom is Rat dog $30 super chat to young kiss the dog no I don't do that you can just give me the $20 super chat or else you're gonna be oh you but they're me. shitting themselves Kathy who, who said that I had dissociative identity disorder said that you are making her dog go nuts when I talk to you. Oh, she's <laughs> dead. Oh, she's so tired. Lisa. Put it down. No! Fuck, I was supposed to I wanted to film this. I'm going to show you my new camera in a second. Her head goes all the way back so that you can see. She looks at like emu when she's camera for lives. When she's upside down. This is another UK reference. Sorry, people. Rod Hull and emu. She's got that emu look about her. I'm waiting for her to screw her nose up and bite somebody. <laughs> She's tired. Put her down. Very floppy. She's completely trusting. Okay. I'm going to put you down. She already made on the bed the other day. And then I have to take all of the sheets and all the blanket off. You made pee pee on mommy's bed. Is that a thing people say? Make on the pee pee pad. Made on the bed. I, I 
the other day there was I was watching that when she brought Doofus home for the first time and she's like, Go and make on the wee wee pad like he knows what she's fucking saying. But it's like I've never heard anyone say make. Does she make in the bathroom? I, I don't know. It's just weird. Even though you can get up and down very easily, the wee-wee pad's right over there. What was the problem? I don't care if it feels good. You can't do that. It's bad. A doggy. Bad. These are her hind legs. Use the front leg. And you can fold it. It's a folding dog. It folds up and then it stretches out and then it folds up again. Don't fuck about with a like that. You can fold it very, very tight. It's very compact. Bite a pom pom. Go on. Way, way out. And it'll stretch its legs way out and it'll point its toes. Great dog. If you can ever get one. I re highly recommend it. Oh, you such a beautiful mommy. You think you a mommy that dreamt because she talks to you and pats you and doesn't care that anybody is online watching. She forgets about those people out there that don't want to be here. No one. And they love you so much. Okay. That was one thing. Then the other thing I want to show you. Is my new camera probably I'm trying to stop myself from getting a guinea pig so you this didn't stop yourself camera. though did you We're filming. We're filming. And you can do that's where I got that. Oh. oh my god, that's deep. It's a good thing I'm not on shrooms. Oh for fuck's sake. Because let's see if we can even get this straight. I'm doing a live. Filming a live. Showing me filming. Filming alive oh, so what I like about this is I can do this mm -hmm. stare at yourself see like I can see myself mm -hmm. see? I see myself I know and I can zoom in oh, okay so let's see Dude, I stay fucked up every morning. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Why am I making fun of him? Oh, that one drives me. And then it's got a touch screen. Oh, there I am. Mm -hmm. Okay, so look at this. Watch this. Why are you taking the piss out of Burke, really? What, what's the need for that? If you don't want him there, why don't you pay for him to have his own place? Instead of... No, but see, then you wouldn't get your narcissistic supply, would you, if he was somewhere else? Dropping on him now. What? 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 Burke, me and the whole internet can hear. Does he have it? Do you have to shout? 
The, what changes the whole thing? Okay, they all hear you. They can hear you. I know, but is he? I just want to know if he's coming. You have to be the most annoying person on the planet. You're supposed to be a mother and you're worse than a fucking younger sister. So are you. He wouldn't even let me kiss him this morning. He said, I don't like that. Hold on a second. <sighs> Go on, Pom Pom, make on the bed. All over the new electronics. I mean, oh, here it comes. No, he didn't. <laughs> he, went, he went out. I would love to lock the door on him right now. Of course, that you would. would be so funny. No, this is not cabin finger a fever anger. This is called bark. This is called Burke. This is Burke. Who was doing absolutely fucking nothing wrong until you started screaming at him and annoying him? Do you not see? You're the fucking problem, Lardy, not Burke. Yes, he went out to finish his telephone conversation, which he was trying to have in private, and you wouldn't let him. Okay. So. Burke, they want to see you. Because you're handsome. Come on. Come on. Burke, you're 20. Stop being a baby. Can you just come and say hi? He's 20, stop being a baby. You're 56 and you're still one. Just hello. No, no, they want to see you. Then you can never be an actor or a model. Are you mad? You don't leave me alone when I say to leave me alone. There's a reason right now, too. Oh, stop it. Jesus. Right. It is. You don't do it for me. Really? Is it just me who wants to go in there and fucking slap her? You're calling him out and you're being the biggest child in the place. And I've been drinking. Yeah, and we know it. They want to see you because you're handsome. Come on, Babu. Dude! I need ice. You didn't give me enough. You were stingy on the ice. You're a Jewish, you're a Jewish boy. Like, what the fuck? This ice, it should have been filled to the top. It was. Everybody's saying we need ice. You want to do a shot?
The ironic thing is, I didn't even want him to come here. He is the one that ripped it. No shit. No, I can't leave that on the floor because Bella will eat it. He's the one that wanted to come. Because I'm so worried, Mom. I'm so worried you're going to get it. Okay, Bella, go lie down. That's another shirt I need. Bella, go lie down. Yeah, we need one. Lardy is a cunt. Shall I get them t-shirts made on Teespring? We could all wear them. Leave Bella the fuck alone and stop aggravating your child. I'm drinking whiskey. I'm drinking whiskey. Jesus, can you keep up with it, Marsha? You're losing points fast. Marsha lost all the stars. And then this other Mar M oh wait, MFC. You have oh, you're new. Okay. Yes, he's my only child. LL Tipsy, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone's like, I love your glasses, I love your glasses. They're just reading glasses. Doesn't he want to pursue broadcasting time for the camera? No. Because he's in a bad mood because he has to take the student loan. Like everybody else in the room. I thought the rule was in your family that the uh, parents paid for the child to go to college. Your grandparents paid for your mum, your mum paid for you, and you were going to do the same for Burke. Yep, what happened then? Oh, that's what happened. You wanted your mum to pay for Burke, like she pays for fucking everything. And I'm getting blamed for not being a rich mother. Okay, he needs to take a student loan to go to a school that's very expensive. But he doesn't have to go to that school. But I want him to follow his dreams. So he chose to go to that school. And then now he has, is going to have like a very expensive loan. Why couldn't you be? Why didn't you become something? I was something. I'm not anything anymore. If you were something and you had a child, you knew at some point that that child would want to go to college or you'd want that child to go to college. So you make arrangements for that. You start saving for that. When you had all those houses that you apparently had and sold, why did you not put some of that money away for Burke's education? No, you snorted it up your nose or drank it, or ate it, or whatever the fuck you did with it, and thought, oh, it's okay, my mum will foot the bill. No, she won't. Now she's pissed. In the American I term. I didn't, graduate. I, I, didn't, I didn't graduate. I didn't graduate. Ugh. Bill Buford... Go fuck yourself. Carol, I think I'm a good mother, but, you know, whatever. I've been on an hour and ten minutes. I'm a good mother, but he's not a good son. <gasps> That's nasty. I'm a good mother, but he's not a good son. If you were a good mother, you'd be in the sitting room with your son conversing because you don't get to see him that often. But no, the minute he arrives, you hide in the bedroom and do a live and wonder why he's angry. I've been on an hour and ten minutes. I'm a good mother, but he's not a good son. Period. Okay. Yeah, but I'm not paying for his college. And I get tested on the daily. 
Do you know what EBITDA is? Yes, I do know what EBITDA. Do you guys know what EBITDA is? E B I T D A. I do. Interest before. Wait. Hey. I've been drinking. Interest before. Earnings before. Interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization. So, yes. Child. Yeah, but you know what? It's because I made different choices in my life. It fucked up his whole life. Okay, Bella, go lie down. Um, Why is Bella not allowed to walk around? What if she needs to make on the pee pee pad? Does she have to stay lying down and do it in her bed? And then you can have a go at her for wetting her bed. Stop fucking shouting at the dog. So, like, I say things, and then we call my friend who is... Like the vice president, no, president, sorry, of a lending division of a bank. Like, big, big. Hi, Renee. And um, she said the exact same things that I said, but he didn't hear it that way. He goes, why don't you tell me that? I said, I did. I wish you knew everything she knew. I said, I do. You didn't say that. Yes, I did. Have you ever taken a loan? Yeah, I've taken loans. How much were your loans for? Well, it was different. It was a 1980, so it wasn't it wasn't a loan for seventy thousand dollars. No, but I also was making fifteen thousand at the time, so you know, 1982. Renee, um, did you get your package? I forget what I sent you. I don't remember if it was perfumes or the jewelry. I owe two people stuff. No, I'm not Olivia. Not at all. I'm not a teen at all. I'm very, um, I'm youthful, but I'm not teen youthful at all. Stuck in an older body. No, you're a toddler stuck in an older body. That's what you are. Oh, I haven't mailed it out yet. I haven't mailed any of the jewelry out. Sorry, Renee. Um, it's in my car and so here's the thing I have to go to a Staples to get an envelope you know like a special package and then I have to go to the post office and last week was kind of crazy with him coming in and um, my interview and then also he has an ear infection so Mm, Olivia, I don't know. Maybe. I don't think I, um, my energy, um, I think. I don't know. But you know what? If you decide that that's what you want to do, then you just go ahead and do it. It's like you have to jump into the deep end. Like, and, and everything that comes along with it. It's not... You know, going into the pool in the shallow end. You're deciding that you want to go to the school. It's going to cost this much. So you don't wear that on your back for the two years that you're at the school. You just deal with it. Like, debt is a part of the human condition. Debt is, is it? a part of life. But when you're new to it and you don't have any bills because your mother has babied you your whole life. It seems overwhelming. When whose mother has babied who all their life? He always had ear infections. 
Oh, okay. I'll talk about my jewelry shares now. Hold on. Oh, what did you have to get her to do that for? I thought people knew this. Nobody knows. Nobody knows what? Nobody knows. You have to keep announcing and then those that know get pissed off that you're like, all you do is sell. But the fact is that a lot of people don't watch every single video and, and everything. It's part of life, Renee. Like... I will always have a car payment because I always want a new car. Although the car that I have now is like my car. Who's going to give you a car on installments again at your age with your credit history? Hmm? How would you pay for it? Huh? Hmm. So, Michelle, you know what? But you don't go to school with that in mind, right? Oh, I missed something Jiggum said. Sorry. Okay. This is called Mermaid Tears. No mermaid dream. Oh, poor mermaid. She can't even remember. Because Hold on. you didn't name it, did you? Other people suggested names for you because you can't think of your own names. That's why you can't remember it. Bear with. It's called Mermaid Kisses. Okay, it's a set of three. Um, and this one you can see has yellow. This is like a smoky purple, a vibrant blue, a pink, a green, a yellow. And I'm very particular about the knot. About the knot. Shawnee made me a bracelet once and she couldn't tie the knot properly and she left the ends sticking out and they stuck in my arm. So that's the knot and as you can see it's almost blind. You can't see it. <clears throat> this one is gorgeous like blues and purples and green squares there's the knot we don't need to see the fucking knot you're gonna break it and then this one oh it's green with an a b who cares about the fucking knot? Yeah, I can't even find it. Because I've said this before, like when Shawnee used to make these, she gave me one and it hurt so bad. Yeah, we know. Because when you try to copy the original, it just never comes out the way you think it should. Can you not shine that light in my eyes, please? Hold on. You haven't a clue, have you? Can you do like this? Here we go. They really, really sparkle. I have my phone on Do Not Disturb, so if anybody's texting in the air or anything, I have not seen it, and I'm doing a live, so... James, don't you think this looks like mermaid kisses? What do mermaid okay, kisses look like? This one is like? called Chicklets. Just can't find that. I don't know. The colors just really did it for me. I just think of chicklets. And you know, the blue doesn't have any. See how each one has like a different color. Oops. Oh my god. Yeah, 
very, very sparkly. Then this one is called Rubber and Diamonds. It's not rubber. These are glass, but they have a rubber coating, and they have a beautiful Pave Diamond ball. And um, one of these is being sent as a gift to Parker. Parker Spears, he has a channel here on YouTube. He does mukbangs, which is, oh my God, I love him so much. He is, so, he's so sweet. Then, so why do you have to tell the world that you're sending him a present? And what ever happened to Parker? Wasn't he supposed to be moving in with you and that you were going to be roommates? Yeah, run Parker, run. This one is called uh, Sapphire and Pearls. Just had a quick break and a chat with my daughter after school and we're back again. He is so, he's so sweet. Then this one is called uh, Sapphire and Steel Pearls. <laughs> Anyone remember Sapphire and Steel back in the day? Look at that sparkle. Oh my God. And that is a real pearl encrusted, encrusted with crystals and then this one this one is yours Renee. yeah this one is yours this exact one so I made one for um, Jamie Lynn Barton who I love and I know that she struggles in life so I just made one for her but I haven't mailed it out because I'm really really late at doing that but I made one with a and you have to tell everyone don't you um, butterfly and then Renee was like oh I want that so this is a milky crystal that's very baby, but on yours, Renee, because this is the real one, you know, this is the exact one you're going to get, I and this is AB also, it's not showing up right now, I put, I hope you don't mind, I took a little bit of like artistic whatever and put it two little spacers that have beads. And because you said your wrist was a six and a half, I may, I don't want to put it on myself because I'm not a six and a half. I'm more like a seven and a quarter. Um, it's, you can see it's small. Do you love it? Please be patient. I will mail it out. I had a few issues, to be honest. Please pay me for it the instant you say you want it and then wait forever until I can be bothered going to the post office to post out what I promised I was going to post out I don't know why anyone puts up with it I really don't when you can go to Etsy or anywhere else and find what she's making for half or quarter the price with better customer services I, I, I don't know why anyone buys anything off her but I don't want to get into which is why I couldn't mail it out but I, I will be able to in a couple days and this one's called Diamond and Pearls and if you look at that one right there, it seems to be showing up. And that's how all of them look. They're all A, B. Pardon me. It, oh my God, it looks so pretty. It's so much prettier than what it looks like here on camera. They're all A, B. They're like little sugar cubes back from back in the day. Remember when you would go to the, I don't know if they did this in the, West Coast, but in the East Coast, you'd go to the Chinese food restaurant and they had so much stuff going on. What is that? No, they, they don't have an Etsy page because Etsy is saturated and I would just rather sell it through Facebook, YouTube, Instagram. Um, do you remember back in the day, like the Chinese restaurants used to have sugar cubes that were wrapped? Who remembers that? Raise your hand. So they are, oops, I don't want to put on yours. Hold on. Can you make a bit more noise? You don't think you're going to get massive amounts of compliments on that stack? So wait, I think James said about 
this very Rio. I think it would be remind me of Rio. Maybe if I had a there maybe a little bit. I don't know. There's something about this. These colors. Need the green. How cool would it be like to do that? Oh, I love that dust jacket. Yes. The clear one is called Diamonds and Pearls. And that is a genuine pearl that has I don't believe you. Clear crystals and around it. And then black crystals that way. And so this is how I do it. They're $26 each, which includes free shipping in the US. How if you much? Me enough. You can pay $25 via PayPal, but through the uh, send money via friends and family so that I don't get charged the PayPal fee. Um, but if you want to be able, either way you get tracking, but if you want to be able to have a recourse so let's say this doesn't arrive or it arrives broken which it won't but if it you know if it did then you can write to paypal and say the item that was sent like let's say i put a uh i don't know a paper towel in the package instead of this and i was like ripping people off like some people have done um you have a recourse so if i'm not a real business you see i'm not a real I'm not a real business. No, I'm just a con woman who's out to get your money. Twenty-six fucking dollars for a beaded bloody bangle. Who is she kidding? I just... And people paid her that, really. They need fucking sectioning, I'm sorry. So this basically is twenty-five, twenty-six if you use if you want me to invoice you. That's what I'm trying to say. If you want me to invoice you, it's 26. If you buy three, so this particular set, and you email me, just email me, ll42863 at yahoo.com. Can I put that in here as well? Yes, I can. Okay, so just email me, say your name, make it an appropriate email. Hi, Lori. I was on your live. My name is blah, blah, blah. Make it an appropriate email. What the actual fuck? Oh, dear Lardes. Oh, jewelry maker on high. I, I passed through your live and I've never been on one before, so I dare not say anything because I didn't want to upset you. But I think that your jewellery is absolutely beautiful and I want to pay you $50 for one of your stinking rotten fucking beaded bangles. <sighs> and I really like the clear... Thank you, Jet. Um... And I really liked the clear. So let's say, so this particular set, the Mermaid Kisses, I set at $65. I wouldn't give you 65 and pence. Let's say you really want it, right? But you're struggling. Write me. I mean, I'm not a real business. I just put a price tag. I'll negotiate with you. You know, I want you to have it. Like, Come on. It's all about the money, money, money. She just wants your money, money, money. Fucking swindling. Ugh. So, if you buy one, it's 25. If you buy two, it's 45. And if you buy three, it's seven. 65. 70, right? 65, you just fucking said. 65. They're all meant to go together. I would not buy one. No, of course you would. I mean, one is pretty, obviously, but you know. They're meant to like. I'm sorry, who's got fucking $65 to waste in the middle of lockdown when they're not going out and they're not working? And everything's, everyone's strapped for cash. You want them to pay you now 70 It's gone up $5. 
since we've been breathing for three fucking stupid beaded bangles. Throw it on. Uh, this is a set. Uh, uh, for, I want to say four for 25. Hope we don't break if I put them on. Sometimes that has happened because I, I do try and, you know, make sure that they're wearable before I send them out. But like, a little bit of bling with your chiclets. These are called chiclets. They're called I just think it's fun. What are you eating? Stop ah. shouting. I really like this black one because I love this. I got this focal bead in Boston and it's just such a good pave bead it really looks like real black diamonds oh and i want to show you okay so look at the knot oh for fuck's sake Maybe fuck off with your knot right there but the color of that see that look at that i want to get something to eat what should i eat what would make you disgusted or what would make you happy No, unless you, I mean, they fit everybody. They fit you. Like, I like them looser. They don't fit me looser. I just make a standard size. But if you're, you know, if you want a really big size, you'd have to tell me um, that you wear, like, a nine. Like, if you're very, you know, have very big wrist. Or, like, Renee did. She was, like, I'm a six and a half, so I knew to make this smaller. But these are all, they all fit me. So they're either going to be. A little bit big, they stretch, you know, a little bit big, and they go they care everywhere. It's disgusting. Because you keep fucking with it. And then I sell perfumes, too. <gasps> I'm going to make more. You can always put in a request. Um, I also make perfumes, and I decorate the bottle. The perfume that I make right now is an amazing vanilla like no other vanilla you've ever smelled first of all it literally lasts over 24 hours um and the bottle i don't feel like getting them thank you renee yeah isn't it amazing i found just a fantastic it's just a pure vanilla well it's not vanilla i mixed in a little something like to make it have that Laurie One stink. thing deeper. Spring is coming. Did I go get it? Did you like how I decorated it? She got all her colouring pencils out and she did do dots and twirls and swirly things and she might have written your name on it if you were really, really lucky and she could figure out how to spell it. That's something that you will treasure for all your life. In the bag I put it in. In the bag I put it in. That you got something else in, sent to you, probably a little organza bag. And she's making a big fucking deal out of it. Most people that sell things put them in little organza bags and they don't say that's an addition. I make everything. I, I, I'll make earrings. Okay. This fell. Isn't this Keith Burke made this when he was like in fourth grade? I just do stuff like that. Okay, let me go get the perfume so I can just show you. Hold on. Is that my sound? I'm sorry about the road, road noise, people. Really, I am. Maybe if my microphone was facing the other way, I wouldn't pick up so much, but... This is the only way I can have it, so terribly sorry. Who are they talking about? <laughs> Mom line.
Okay, we have and told me any of this. Okay, so here is what a plain bottle of it looks like. Oopsies. And I customize it with, I usually do dots that are like very henna-ish. And first of all, I put the Swarovski crystals so you see how this half that's a Swarovski crystal encased in like a electric pink resin. And so then I, so I put a lot of crystals on top, not here because that's where you're going to have to open it. And then all along here, um, I use an oil based marker that's silver. I have a silver, rose gold and gold to do dots and, and twirlies in i do your initials and then i do stars see i told you i must be psychic and dots and that's about it hang on i got this one okay. <laughs> so to my bed. okay i want to eat this food very this is so good but i throw up last time. No, we're not talking about that. What? Don't be mad. No crosstalk. No crosstalk. Why are you not talking? Don't talk. Talk. You can crush him. We're not talking about it. What? What are we not Everyone talking about? Everyone's getting hit hard. The perfume is 20, 20. No, I'm not anymore. I was, but now I'm just hungry. I'm not answering questions like that from people I don't know. Hey, Rachel. Okay, Renee, I really don't want to talk about it. Um. Oh, you're ju I think you're just saying that you said you work in labor. Labor and delivery. We've had a lot of babies. More to come in nine months. Ah, ha, ha, ha. Oh, now I get it. Sorry. Why help? I thought you were saying late or something. Yes, people are staying in and having sex. I feel like I don't like you're drunk. I don't like that. All caps. How many ingredients you in your perfume? That sounds very ridiculous. Like no, it doesn't. Two. People want to know the ingredients in things before they put them on their body and end up with a big, fat, ugly rash. Most companies, whether they're independents or big companies, put the ingredients on the box that the thing comes in or on a card. But of course, you won't tell anybody because you've basically just bought a vanilla smelling oil from somewhere and decanted it into your little bottle that you're then going to do dots and fucking stars on. Noise. I think that was a bus. But yeah, so it's not rude and it's not wrong for someone to ask what's the ingredients in the bottle. Two ingredients. There's no alcohol. Yeah, I'm eating. Okay, Jet. Sounds good. I'd rather just eat and throw up. But good for you for eating mindfully. I am not eating mindfully. Do 
you guys missed an hour of stuff, I was different in the beginning, and I'm not drunk. Whatever you say. Mm -hmm. Wonder what happened to that guy who's gonna give me a super chat for kissing the dog. Sorry, but I'm not a whore. Not that there's anything wrong with it, but you know. Do I have any calls? Calls have been okay. Look. This is what I have to do because, let's see, do you see that? Three no caller IDs, 7-11, somebody who, um, has no life like you then and who is selfish beyond anything because are they making YouTube videos to amuse people <laughs> are they can you have to think you guys like your reactions to things um are you part of the problem or are you uh, solving the problem? Do you help or are you harm harming, hurting, harm? I'm going to make a hybrid word, harming. I don't know. This whole thing has made me rethink friendships, relationships, People's motives, people's actions, the things they say in a time of high stress, high worry. Um, no, I'm not picking you up. Um, high anxiety. Are you adding to other people's problems and stress or are you trying to alleviate it. I want you all to sit back, shut your mouth, okay? And think, hmm, have I done anything in the last couple of weeks that has helped somebody that I don't know, that has hurt somebody that I don't know? What role are you taking? You just want to talk about, oh my God, the economy. Oh my God, Italy. Oh my God, this one died, that one died. Like, what do you, you know, what, what is your stance? It, it speaks volumes to me. It does to me too, when you sit there and say, I, pr I thank God it isn't happening to me. That's all you ever think about is you. You don't give a toss about anybody else. You don't do anything to help anybody else. And if by chance you actually do something, you never fucking shut up about it. And then, um, you know, people are right. You guys missed it. I, I deleted it. You're fat. Delete. Oh, they wrote, you're so fat. Delete. Um, are you a dude or a girl? Okay. Delete. Those are the same people that are stealing groceries as the old lady goes to her car with her stuff and they're taking them. What? Those are the same people that are hoarding alcohol swabs. Like they really need that. But the person with diabetes that needs to give themselves an injection can't get a hold of it. Same people that are, you know, I'm going to put it into one big perspective. Anybody gone? Can you see me? 
Dude, do something with the hat. Oh, okay, sorry. Do the red delight. I'm going to give you an example. Ooh, I can't Trisha worry. Paytas. Oh, here we go. This is the time that this is what she's choosing. The focus is all on her. Say you. Don't cross talk. Just listen to me. Brenda, oh my God. Like seriously. Wayne Goss. No, that's a good person. <clears throat> he recommended a makeup cleaner, brush cleaner that has alcohol in it. That crap is part of the problem. But we give a pass because it's 20. We love people. We love certain people. Oh, Matt. What is she even talking about at the moment? So I'm going to be moving while I talk because... I sit here for a while and I end up sliding down about eight miles away from where I was at the beginning. What the fuck is she talking about? It's like Trisha Paytas. He's the problem because he's 20. And it's like, do you really have to tell the whole internet that you don't like your son? Really? Looking for sympathy? He's a 20-year-old. They're all annoying when they're 20. I can picture you right now. Holding on to your hospital pole, you know, your pole, your IV pole. She fought a fight. Maybe she's still going to have to fight a fight. We all are fighting something. I had a friend two years ago, three years ago that died from the flu. Oh, Renee, no, 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 no. This isn't just being 20. Um, like, okay, so I'm on here. <clears throat> it's obvious that my channel is about me. My yeah. perspective. We know. It is 100% egocentric. Because it's my channel. It's me talking. If people are trying to get the attention on them right now, like in the comments, like writing, you are so fat. Are you a boy or a girl? Sex and whatever else. It's not about you. See, like, get a channel, and then it'll be about you. Com calling incessantly. Or sending a text. I, I don't know. Did I get a text? I got a text. It says two. I don't know who it's from. Someone that, that's watching me, like, now is the time that you're going to write a text to me while I'm online. Maybe, I don't know. I have to look. <coughs> Oh, okay. I'm going to be told what pod to react to because I've got it. Yeah, you should be today a little, a little bit scared. Who in their right mind would be scared of you? Really? What are you going to do? Block them? Ooh, scary! I'm just profound. 
<laughs> Catherine East, are you on here? Tequilas, she was coming over. Um. It's okay, don't worry. I will leave it up. It's at one hour, 45 minutes and counting. Hope everything is okay with you. I don't know, all I'm gonna say is this. A lot of things have changed. This has shown to me this whole thing and how people will react and and I'm talking about multiple people here, so nobody here can say, oh, she's talking about me. I'm talking about a multitude of people. Um, has made, made me rethink things, had made, has made me realize things and see things and understand things a lot better than I did before. So. What was profound about that? I think, with that said, it's time for me to get off. Yeah. And you guys can watch the whole hour and 46 minutes from start to finish. It's okay. I didn't think you were a nap. No worries. But I am profound. And I do have a lot of insight. And I have a lot of empathy. And I have a lot of thoughts and things that I like to say. And I like to put a calm... I mean, I, I share my struggles. I have a lot of struggles, mostly from external. But my general, overall being, if most people would just leave me the fuck alone and just be nice, like be nice, Maybe people would leave you the fuck alone and be nice if you were nice. How about that? That's really profound, don't you think? Because I'm pretty much always, I'm always nice. I start out always nice. No, you don't. Until somebody does something or says something fucked up. Fucked up? Somebody says something fucked up. Like drive carefully somebody might die how is that fucked up so um how is you could always turn the air conditioning up fucked up you know i don't know i don't i don't i don't feel like i've done anything no of course you don't to anybody to get hate or to get um, spoken to the way I have been spoken to by people, um, reactions, I'm talking about my son too, you know, I'm just I'm all over the place, I'm just free thinking, I'm not speaking towards anybody in particular, I know I'm keep touching my hair, when you have long hair you have to, you have to keep touching your hair, hi Raquel, new subscriber, did you subscribe to my channel? That's what hello, I'm a new subscriber means. Now what have you broken? So, I don't know. I think I'm going to get off. Oh, Ladybug, Harry. You just got on. I'm going to get off. People, it's not that they're, you know what? It's not hate. It's that they're so, okay. Let me see if I can say this. I know I just licked my lips. It's going to disgust somebody. It's not that people are hateful. I don't feel like peop like the people are hateful. I feel like people are selfish and self-centered. And in the moment, they think about themselves. 
people are selfish, self-centered, and in the moment they think about themselves. As opposed to every fucking moment they think about themselves. That would be you, lard ass. Now, I obviously have a YouTube channel, so I'm thinking it's a very egotistical thing when you have a YouTube channel in general. It's out there. It's me, all focused on me. I determine what I want to talk about. I determine who gets to speak, who gets to give a thumbs up, thumbs down. If I want it to be shown, if not, if I want to comment to be seen, like I'm in charge. It's the most, it's, it's out there though. It's out there. If you um, are reacting, and this is just in general, in general, to, I have, I've, Zora, I've done, this is my third one. I've done, you know, three. Um, wow, she can count to three, if people. If you're reacting to things from an egotistical place, without knowing that that's what you're doing at the time. Like, I know, I, 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 I will say to my son, I've been doing it for 10 years, Raquel. So I'll say to my son, don't bother me, I'm in a bad mood. There, you've said, I've said it. He knows, okay, tread lightly. But if you do, are not in touch with your feelings enough that you lash out like the phony phone calls from somebody who's sitting in their house, I'm going to picture Kentucky or some rural place. I'm thinking a double wide. Let's talk stereotypes here. I'm thinking a double wide, old lady, curlers in her hair, house coat, eating bologna cake. Okay, you know, like a scene from... Um, and you're so much better, aren't you? Sat in a low-income apartment that someone else is paying for with a pit chin in a wig with a penis hat on telling the world how to live their life. Sweet home Alabama. That's who called me. Don't, don't, don't. Also, my number one day. Dead and dead and dead and dead and dead. I'm relevant and so I matter so much to them. And sits, she probably has fibromyalgia because, like, we all have fibromyalgia, right? Fuck off. She's sitting there, she has fibromyalgia. She's probably overweight and ugly. I'm just saying, this is like. Holding the mirror up in front of yourself. You're overweight and ugly, and apparently you have fibro, so you tell people my demographic oh my god i just insulted a bunch of people but it's true i mean everyone i've seen like when they send me pictures sometimes i'm a little like oh my god not everybody i'm speaking generally they're overweight they're nothing like me not that i'm not overweight but they're not like they're not wearing they're not the haters the people i'm saying that are calling like this one particular individual who i, I, re I really i have no idea Really, I'm just seeing this call. No, only three times, no message. Um, but, so they're sitting there and they obviously are doing nothing, nothing else. They're not even getting up. Are they cleaning their house? Are they doing laundry? How do you catch every single live that I do? And then you grab, what do you grab your phone, which is always charged. So you grab your phone and you call, hoping to what, interrupt? But I have it on do not disturb. Well, I am ignoring it, but I'm talking in general about, this isn't just about just this caller. This is about this situation that's going on in our world right now. Are you a solution or are you part of the problem? I don't know what you are. That's all. Just ask me to think. Are you a solution or part of the problem? 
that's kind of what I'll leave you with. I might change the title. Just waiting to get to a round number. Two minutes. Two hours. Sorry, two minutes. That'll never happen. And it's not BSC, MFC, you're new. But people call where I work, they find out where I live. It's, it's ser it can be serious, you know. Um... Oh. I often wonder if she makes that up for content. They call where I work. They call my eye lady. They call where I have my bum waxed. Does it really happen? Do people actually really do that? Or does she just make it up to make me look like the devil incarnate? Because everything's my fault, including COVID. I'd like to think that I'm part of the solution, that I'm part of the relief of what's going on. Not, like, okay, I know, like, Lisa and Tara Babies, they've made videos about makeup. And so many people now are like, oh, I'm sure, I, I don't know, I'm assuming. People are like, oh my god, you know, we're in a health crisis. Everybody's going to die and the world is going to shut down and no longer cease to exist. And all she can talk about is makeup. She is providing an entertainment. Because I am a Sensi consultant, so they have my number. I agree, Karen. I think that people are running around with chick like chickens with their heads cut off. It from what you see. When you go outside and you go to the supermarket, everybody is normal. But inside, you li everyone's like a sheep and they're listening to the news and they're all freaking out in Italy. I said this in the beginning too, in Italy and uh, pray for Italy, like, oh my God. It really, like just stop. Stop, do what you have to do, and then, and, and picture what the outcome that you want is. Picture what you want it to be. It's not minimizing, you know, people die every single day. People die of cancer. A friend of mine has died from the flu. I had a friend die from a brain tumor, and I stood there at the grave site, as we shoveled dirt on his casket with arm in arm with Mike and Andrea, two people, and they're both dead. He died from the flu. They were married, and a year later she died because she refused to get heart surgery because when he died, that was it. So the two people I was holding on to as they held me up as my friend Eric my best friend's husband was being buried from a two-year battle, horrible, with a brain tumor where it made him blind. They're both fucking dead, under the age of 55. What's the saying? Only the good die young? So, people die every single day. This is a very bad thing that's happening, but I mean, you know, to say bad thing, it's like, I'm not trying to undermine it, but I'm also not going to freak out about it. I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do, but I'm going to continue to focus on good things and the future of everything getting back to normal. And yes, unfortunately, some businesses are going to die along with some people. It's just what's going to happen, but to perpetuate fear and and to listen, instead of listening to yourself and what makes sense, like somebody had written me saying that the governor of California says that 80% of people are going to get this. Okay, well, I step back and I think, why would, why would the governor of California say that? Like, why does he want to put fear into people? Okay, what I rationalized was that 
trying to like make this serious so that we can maybe get a little bit ahead of it and I have two minutes and you know there are a lot of people that aren't paying attention to it a lot of like my son's friends who are like traveling all over the place and you know when you're at that age you think you're above it all and so I think that he's trying to like make you see I'm not an alarmist you're right and I think he's trying to make make people see that he's not trying to add panic he's trying to say oh yeah okay maybe 80% of people you know what what's the percentage of people that are gonna get cancer what's the percentage of people that are gonna get cancer and die and the percentage of people that are gonna get cancer and survive or get or have a five-year or a ten-year you know what is the percentage of people that are gonna get the flu This might be more serious, but I think that, that all these measures are more precautionary because of what we've seen. Uh, so that's just, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not worried about like, I, and I was started out by saying I was watching HRH's video and it was getting me nervous. I have one minute left, 54 seconds. Okay. It was getting me nervous because when she was saying like this is gonna hurt the economy, that I could relate to because I can see it makes it money. See, it all comes back to money. It's more relatable than saying, you know, this many people have died, like twenty thousand, thirty thousand. What what does that look like? I don't know what that looks like, you know? So that oh, I went over my time limit, so I'm gonna have to Get the axe. Where's the hook? Remember that from... I forget what show that was. Anyways, okay. I got off on a tangent. You were all listening. Thank you so much. I'll be back. See you. Mwah. Love you. Yeah. I hate it when she does that kissy thing at the end. Right, so... One more down. How many more have we got to go? <laughs> I'm off to edit and I will talk to you all in the next one. Thanks very much if you stayed to the end. <laughs> talk to you later.